Hi, I'm Daphne Gottlieb and I'm at City Lights Bookstore in San Francisco here to celebrate their 60th anniversary. Um, I was asked to talk a little bit about what City Lights means to me or my first experience at City Lights and actually um, I was a late teenager. It's starting to feel like a really bad reality for my first time at City Lights. But, um, <laughs> It was, it was a meth up because you young ones won't know that bookstores used to be totally different things than they are now. You couldn't just like click and get some obscure thing. You had to dig it out of a crate in the back of a bookstore. You had to whisper it and have a secret handshake. Like finding cool stuff was really hard. Um, and then like one thing turned on to the next. But it was like drugs. It was like anything. Like books came in glassine envelopes practically. And um, you know, I, I w had started like really reading things that, you know, I thought were really transgressive and I was excited because they were really transgressive and I wanted to find more and I was coming out to San Francisco and I don't remember anything else on my itinerary for the trip. I, I learned many things on that trip. I do remember that I went to a goth club, but what I really remember was my trip to City Lights. Um, I was studying with uh, Robert Kelly the poet at the time, and he said, you know, you really need to go read Kathy Acker. And I didn't know who this Kathy Acker was, and I picked up a book and I looked at the back and there's this, you know, woman with big cheeks and a blonde buzz cut and a pierced nose, um, and at the time, you know, I had big cheeks and a blonde buzz cut and a pierced nose, I'm like, gee, I wonder why he wanted me to read this, but, um, you know, she ended up being, being sort of uh, a holy grail for me, and I didn't know that at the time, like, how huge that particular moment, that particular blossoming, that, that convergence would be. I didn't know that I'd move out to San Francisco, like, two years later, in part because of the literary culture out here, of which, you know, City Lights is sort of a hub and a magnet and a watermark setter and everything, you know, it's everything. And then, you know, I didn't know that I would end up, you know, reading at City Lights. I, that was far beyond my wildest dreams. And, um, you know, in a funny sort of PS, I'm receiving an Acker Award, which I don't know if it's affiliated with City Lights or not, but it sort of makes the story come full circle, and that's how you tell stories. So thanks, City Lights, for everything.